The school committee met remotely Wednesday evening. High school administrators Hugh Galligan and Cindy Durain provided updates to the committee regarding the new high school handbook. Dr. Wyeth, in collaboration with Dr. Frazik and Dr. Casali, reviewed MCAS and Renaissance data for middle school math. Dr. Frazik outlined a special SEL program CMS teachers are using to grow as educators, using a weekly plan called the Character Strong Weekly. Um, so we get sent these every week. I think I just get sent them because I'm like the facilitator and then I, I usually put them in my Monday morning quarterback for staff. What's like, they're two minutes and they just kind of talk about a little piece. So I thought if, you know, it, I think it's literally one minute or one and a half minutes, Dr. White, if you wouldn't mind just showing it. Two minutes and 22 seconds. Have you ever heard the line, you only get one chance to make a first impression? Welcome to the Character Strong Weekly, a quick idea or strategy to help transform your daily work. Rule number one, names are important. When I think back over all my years of teaching, I'm saddened by the number of times that during the first day or week while taking attendance, if there was a name that came across that I was not familiar with or was difficult to pronounce, my tendency was to give it my best shot. Sadly, the vast majority of those times, I was not even close to accurate. And here I am at the high school level. How many times, how many years has that student had their name mispronounced or even butchered in front of their classmates? Not the best first impression. You know when we don't get this scenario wrong? Graduation. We have students write down their name, in many cases, phonetically on a note card, because you know what, we're not going to get it wrong on that day. And yet the irony is sometimes we'll get it wrong for 13 years <laughs> leading up to that day. Here's the strategy. To start the year, semester, right, whatever it is, give each student or family member, if it's a younger student, a note card. And ask them to write out their name phonetically and turn it back into you. What if on the very first day, first moment, you got it right. Let's have a much more intentional and positive first impression with our students. Sometimes you may even find out what students prefer to be called. I have a close friend who goes by their middle name. At the core of our work, it's all about relationships. And so many times relationships start with learning and using each other's names. Remember, this is not one more thing on the plate. It is the actual plate. So I think this kind of emphasizes some of the things just that's always helpful for us to have reminders of in the, the busy grind of the day. And, and they're all that kind of short and um, always kind of provide a nice tool like that. Elementary STE coordinator Elizabeth Warren updated the committee on exciting additions coming to the STE curriculum. In his superintendent report, Dr. Thompson detailed highlights from a Facebook Live he hosted in late May regarding school start times. He shared this message of congratulations to the class of 2022 as they prepared for class day and graduation this weekend. Uh, so quick uh, reminder, this uh, Sunday is graduation, so congratulations to the class of 2022, and I am looking forward to seeing you at 1 o'clock and also Friday at 1 o'clock for class day. Um, so um, congratulations to you. I know that it is the last two years, especially have been a little bit of an uphill struggle, but you guys have come through it smelling like roses and I'm looking forward to celebrating with you. Business manager, Karen Sheridan, reviewed grant procedure details with the group. Dr. Thompson shared a building plan of the new Coakley Middle School building with the board. But I also wanted to show a couple um, renderings right now of the building. So this is the auditorium, the 600 foot auditorium that they are looking at. Uh, this is the overall design. There are going to be meetings talking about uh, the lights, you know, some of the production pieces for the booth and that sort of thing. But you have, um, you know, some real, actually, I'm going to shrink this down just a touch. Does that work better? You see a little bit better. Um, and the nice thing about it is, is we're going to have appropriate sight lines. We currently do not have that in, in our auditorium. And again, this is looking at the, at the stage from the balcony. You can see how that kind of 
use. And then the other piece that uh, they've done a rendering on is the performance studio or the black box theater, it's often called. So this is something where people can do group projects and performances. Um, and you can see how this is a very flexible space with a lot of multimedia options in here. Student Commons, this is the first floor Commons, I believe. Um, and you can, uh, or actually this might be the second floor because the auditorium, I think this is the upper part of the auditorium. Uh, but you can see what the dining area would look like. Uh, the gymnasium, and again, there'll be seats for about 275 in here. That is a proposed rock wall. Of course, all this will have to do with construction costs and such. Uh, I'm sure the floor will be pretty much what it looks like there. You can see the artwork on the walls, the overall basket court right here, basketball court right here. Typical classroom, you can see that they have windows, and these windows will be opening. Uh, and they're talking about having these themed, you know, the blue team, the green team, the gold team. So these uh, pieces here will be um, colored to represent uh, and, again, bring uh, those team spaces, you know, kind of your space based on color. Another typical classroom over here, different view of it. Another one over there, and then uh, the front facade of the building. We did go through several uh, renditions of looking at this, changing the color configuration, uh, changing some of the branding and that sort of thing. Ultimately, the um, the middle school building committee did vote to keep this color scheme. Uh, and you know, I'll speak for myself, but the thought there is that this is very this is a school for middle school age kids, um, and they truly identify with. The branding of being a Norwood Mustang, uh, as does anybody in the area who sees you walking around in it. So um, that's kind of my update. Dr. Thompson detailed an MOU with Unit A regarding school start time changes. The board approved the MOU three to nothing. Before adjournment, board members individually made thoughtful comments and calls to action following the devastating school shooting in Texas last week. The committee meets again on June 15th. Also Wednesday, the Conservation Commission met virtually with one public hearing on their agenda. The applicant, Metropolitan Cabinets and Countertop, applied for a building expansion in existing parking lot in the buffer zone of a bordered, vegetated wetland. To end the meeting, the Commission discussed wetland issues and conservation business. Their next meeting will also be on June 15th. For complete government coverage, tune into the NCM Government Channel or watch On Demand at NorwoodCommunityMedia.org.